Hi, once again I'm Connor Holt. This is for Life in a Day Film Contest. Uh, July 24th, it's around 6, 11. Um, well, it was too cloudy of a day uh, of the lake to really get a nice sunrise, but it really is still quite beautiful. You can see with the clouds behind me, it's really quite breathtaking, the, still the views you can get on a day like this, even. Um, so first of all, I guess, all right, or I fear. Well, um, I'm a film student. I go to uh, Minnesota State University, Moorhead, one of the few, if only, real film schools in Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota. You know, film school. Why, why, aren't, why aren't I in California? Well, no. Um, I guess that comes down to what I fear is the future of that. Um, uh, they, they, you know, how do I stand out in this business? once I got out of college, you know? Because there really is. There's YouTube, there's websites, there's online series, and you think all these videos, all these people making films, or all these people like on the independent circuit making their first feature film, and they're shipping around to Sundance and Slamdance and other festivals, I mean, smaller festivals, and like, they're, and those are, and are good films, so how are they doing it? It's just like, and you know, I guess I don't see Hollywood as my only goal in life, Hollywood, but I, I, I like making, I, I'd be happy making small films, but it's like, I wonder how do you, am I good enough, am I creative enough, am I a good enough filmmaker to get recognition, make good films, have a career, you know, and it's just with this technology, with technology booming right now, it's, it's scary, to, it is kind of scary sometimes to think, what if I can't make it? What if I can't rise above everyone else? So, that's what scares me. Um, what do I love? I love my family, really. That's the most important thing to me. My family, we're a very close family. Uh, right now I'm at my grandparents' cabin. I'm uh, helping them. Uh, I'm my grandpa do some projects around, around the cabin, you know. Spending time with my grandparents. I've done this. It's my fourth year coming up here on my own. Well, for a long time. You know, I did it when I was a kid for like a weekend or a week, but now I do it for a month at a time, usually July. So it's really great. I really love being up here. I, I, I'm good friends with the people in the area, but I love my parents for supporting me, especially supporting me to go into film school. My sister is out in California now. My, um, my aunt, 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 cousins, and then. I just took a trip to Ireland this beginning of summer where I visited all my family in Ireland on my mom's side. So it's really important to me. I'm so happy that I live in a family where family in a family where spending time with family and knowing about your family is so important. So that's why I love. And um what makes you laugh? Um I really love funny movies. Like I I, like I love dramas too, but funny movies a good funny movie is just great. Um Groundhog Day, uh, Fred Blue's Day Off, His Girl Friday, also I think Casablanca is just hilarious, Paul Reigns. Um, also, I like very unintentional humor, just kind of a quirk. Like, there's a horrible story about this um, true case about a doctor who was, during surgery, was so distracted he removed the lo wrong liver of a guy. I'm like, that's horrible. Oh my god, you took the wrong liver, but. Yeah, that's, that's pretty hilarious, too, kind of. A doctor, you know, got... Oops, sorry, I'm distracted. Oops, wrong liver. I think it's funny. And, um... What do I got in my pockets? Well, I have, um... A wallet. Actually, this wallet is really cool, because this is what I've had for the last... Ooh... Uh, seven, eight, eight or nine years. I got this when I lived in England for three years. I wasn't born there, but I, we moved there for three years. My dad had a job one of the, for I living in a different country, so we lived there for three years in Letchworth, which is just north of London. But I have this this wallet, and um, I still have the little numbers book. It says on there. There we go. Uh, Letchworth, the first garden city. Yep, world's first garden city. So yeah, that's. Where I lived for three years, really awesome. Go to live in England. 
uh, wore a uniform to school, read the Beano. It was, it was fun. I liked it. Uh, cricket was a fun sport. Um, but yeah, I got money and, and library cards and all that in here. What else I got? Okay. Um, got my cell phone. It's a simple Nokia T-Mobile prepaid. No, it's a planned phone. Very simple plan. I don't, I don't call it that much. I don't text very much. So I just had a simple phone. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I wrote everything down. I'm kind of nitpicky that way, so I wrote down like, you know, what do you fear, what do you love, what do you laugh, so I wrote that all down, just to make sure I knew, I forget it. I do this a lot. Um, camera, I just thought I'd bring this, just to get some photos as well, of stuff, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I brought this as well. And a pen and paper, just some scrap paper and a pen. I've been I've been working on a screenplay since you know I'm in film school. Work do music films. I have a film class in the fall, so I've been trying to write a first draft of a screenplay. So I always bring paper and pen along with me in case I think of ideas or lines of dialogue. Look for it. But yeah, that's my pockets. But yeah, this is, I think this is a really cool project, so I hope it turns out really well. Um, good luck to you, McDonald, with your editing. Thanks. Alright, this is where I'm staying this summer. This is my grandparents' cabin. Uh, my grandpa uh, designed this with an architect, and he's been building almost by himself for the last few years. And I've been helping a lot. Um, that deck right there in the front, I helped build that. We're, Building that awning right now above the deck, the right now wooden awning. And we built railings and stair stairways. It's really a great um, summer activity. You know, come up here, work with my grandpa, doing projects. So I really enjoy it. It's one of my favorite parts of the summer. And of course, I got to be up here at Lake Superior, which is just beautiful. So. This is what I do every summer, and it's a great tradition for me. This is one of my favorite song, my favorite sounds. It's a, this is a handsaw, and I'm gonna take it. So just listen to this. Alright, um, for sound effects, I already did the favorite sound, um, but here is a single clap. Alright, um, sing a single note for as long as I can. Uh... in in and out once there you go